<laughs> you know, sometimes you just have to laugh when these poll numbers come out. Because let's just say the, <laughs> the exact same number that voted for Obama think, what is, what is it? That is, everything is just right? They think that the oh. Republicans are too extreme for oh, this country. Oh, that's right. The Republicans are too extreme. And the exact same number that voted for Romney think, what? They're just right. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> but anyway, as you get ready for the last full weekend, or actually or the last few days, the countdown till Christmas, and you're finishing up your Christmas shopping, yes, shop early. Actually, I was going to say shop online. No, it might be a little bit too late to shop online, unless you're celebrating after Christmas. Anyway, <laughs> um, as you're going into Christmas, um, you know, enjoy it. But there is other news that's coming on, so we're going to bring Old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you would think so. I mean, what I like is that 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 boy your thought that well. I've got enough Republican support that if I join my support with the Democrats, we'll be able to raise taxes on all of the people making $250,000 a year or not. Uh, no, he lost the vote on, he couldn't get enough people to, to pass his thing, uh, the raising for a million, a million. He needed, uh, I think he needed 40 Republicans to join with him and the Democrats to raise taxes. He couldn't get 40 Republicans that would join with him, period. Which means, they said, uh, that this is what one of the people said yesterday, last night, he said, bye-bye, Speaker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because... He uh, pushes it, he's pushed it too far. Well, and, yeah, he said that this man, uh, see, that he said that one of the people last night on one of the news things, he said that Boehner is an example of the new Republican, which is why the new Republicans are totally disliked. He said that... They think that if they can cater to the people that would never vote for them, even if hell froze over, that they will vote for them. And they said that, and they're so conflicted about, they said that when a, when a modern Republican like Boehner goes into a bathroom to do a one or a two, they can't think of which one they're going to do, so they come out and do two all over themselves. And they didn't quite use ones and twos when they were talking last night to do, so. Stylist. Lanza never spoke, made no eye contact. I know that if, I mean, I always think that all of these people are doing psychoanalytic work. I, I, I saw last night a guy that is a psychiatrist uh, and an MD said that, you know, that, that he'd been doing this for over 40 years and he never once could look at a person and say, that person is going to be a mass murderer. That person is going to be mean to his dog. He, that person is going to get divorced. He said that. Uh, he said that the people that were the most vicious and violent basically had the most angelic faces. Uh-huh. Yes, and so <laughs> I was well, getting But it. I know that you can know, Bill O'Reilly said, I could tell by looking at him that he played video games and watched the internet. And sixth grader brings gun to school to protect against? Yeah, well, against people doing things. His father actually sent him to school with a gun. Okay, first of all, schools are no are, are gun-free zones. If you take a, even a cap pistol to a school, they're going to throw you out of the school. His father knew better, but they figured that since, okay, they used to actually have people in the schools to make certain nothing happened, but because of George Bush and the Republicans, we had to cut back on them. Well, the federal government has nothing to do with, with local police officers. They just pulled the police. They, they had to cut funds, so, well, hell, we're going to cut funds on school protection because who cares about whether they get hurt or not. Mm -hmm. Sixth grader, oh, wait, McCain rejects torture scenes in Zero Dark Thirty. I know. Okay, first of all, it's a politically correct movie by the woman who did the Hurt Locker. It actually is condemnation of the United States again. That they, you know, that well, if they hadn't have done this, we would have got Bin Laden anyway. First of all, they had nobody's ever going to know whether they got Bin Laden again with the guys. You, you want to respect Muslim traditions by dumping a guy's body out in the ocean. That's not respecting Muslim traditions. And mass school bombing in 1927 plus Sandy Hook in context. They, okay, they've been killing. I mean, I'll go back to uh, my father came to this country in 1911. When my father was in, I guess, what was it about? Uh, when my father was in California Polytechnical Trade School, which was the high school then, they had a teacher 
that basically he, he just snapped and he killed about a dozen people with a tuba for it. That's called a massacre. But they did not bother with that little detail because, well, he didn't use he didn't use guns, he didn't burn the building down, didn't blow the stuff, he just took it too before, which is what happens when a person snaps up whatever is handy, they will pick up and use as a weapon. And Pentagon investigating its top official over link to Osama bin. I know. Is, is that Osama bin Laden? Yeah, well actually it's information that what the, uh, somebody had given information for all these movies to the press. Oh, uh oh, Herbie Daddy just, Herbie Daddy's interfering. Herbie Daddy said, it's coming from the Obama administration. <laughs> and scalpel free brain surgery gives patients steady hands. Yeah. Scalpel free brain that's, surgery. That's right, because you can do it with, um, with laser surgery and stuff now, because the points are so perfect. You can sit there and do it without cutting and just zap it out with the heat. Oh, actually, that's really good. Yeah, it that's sears good. the it seals the, uh, the, the 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 blood vessels at the same time, so you don't. It's actually it's it's safer to do it that way. If it's like you're burning it off. You yeah, you're burning the damage out, or you're cutting it away, and you're when you're cutting it away, you're also making certain there's no chance of infection or bleeding. Because you're sealing the you're end. Sealing it in. Yep. Uh, Japan votes in elections seem returning LDP to power. I know, basically it's the Prime Minister, the, the, the people that got benched out of office because they overspent in the country are now being put back in office again. Because for some reason, people that give lots of money away when they're in office always get reelected. And Iran warns against patriot deployment on Syria frontier. Yeah, well, like the... the like I said, like the Turks give a darn what the Iranians say. And Iran and other countries horrified by Connecticut massacre. They do it all the time. I mean, they they they, they basically stone people to death. They be, and they execute people without trial, and so they're horrified. No, they basically uh, they'll massacre a school full of girls and call it the, you know Allah says that we should they were they were being worldly. And Apple falls on lower shipment forecast, and mute, oh. muted China debut. Basically, uh, the Apple is a, which is funny, it, uh, when Steve Jobs was alive, it was a thriving company. Since he died, the company has lost over $210 a share. And they said it has nowhere to go but down because nothing they do works now. And Maya end of days fever reaches climax in Mexico. Yeah. It didn't end, but uh oh, Herbie Daddy said Barack Obama is president of the United States. Barack Obama is president of the United States. He, Barack, did that mean the end of the days actually did happen? Oh, uh, and first major storm of winter pelts the Midwest. And it's basically because of global warming, because it would never snow before Christmas in our country. And 55 people drowned off Somali coast, UNHCR. Yeah, basically, it's just another, uh, okay, what happens is these weird people go out on boats that are only designed for a few people. Then it goes over. FBI, one of two escaped Chicago inmates arrested. Yeah, I think they just walked out of the place and got into a car and drove off. And raid on Kenyan coastal village leaves 28 dead. Yeah, because, you know, but don't worry, you know, Gun, you know, that when you take guns away from the people, only the criminals will have guns. Mm -hmm. um, they'll all have guns. They all, well, part of it is, they're already criminals. Why would they, they, if they're already committing the crime, you think they're concerned about, oh, another crime? Well, I know, that's why my father was a police officer. Mm -hmm. They used to have discussions about that at our house. He said that criminals don't tend to pay any attention to what the rules say. That's why they're criminals. They don't pay any attention in Great Britain. They don't pay any attention in Japan. They don't pay any attention in Scandinavia. The laws are the laws mean nothing to a person that doesn't obey them. And it's all hands on deck for final retail push. Oh God, it's a disaster. They said they're trying to blame it on the weather now. And NRA return, returns to public debate to meet with media. Oh, I heard morons this morning. Well, the NRA is deaf to what's going on. Uh, they said the people want gun control. Let's see, as companies that are associated with the president are selling off stocks in the companies, gun sales have never reached a higher point. They said, I said, 
almost every day Obama been president, they set new record sales and guns. Well, we even got a media, what was it, a media alert that the NRA president has just, has agreed to meet with Meet the Press? Oh, God, yeah, they sent us out on that, so. <laughs> I mean. We got it, you know, actually, the funny thing is we're getting it. We don't get it from the right, we get it from the left. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, it's something, and you know, I think and this fits today. If you don't get it done now, you're never going to get it done. Get her done. Get her done. So. <laughs>